Good morning everybody. I'd like to have a look at Advanced Steel this morning. Um, something interesting that uh, you might not know if you do the Essentials course. There's uh, quite a common question that's getting asked is how do we manipulate more than one joint just by altering one of them. Now what we can see over here is a bit of a platform that we've got going over here. Some columns in the front and some beams that connect to them. How we learn this during the essentials is to say, well, um, let's open the connection vault and here under our beam to column, there's a knee and a frame for instance, and then we select the column and the beam, and then we accept that. Now we can do the same thing, just to make sure that it's exactly the same, and we can then do the same to the next joint that we get there. However. If we change the properties through the advanced joint properties on the joint on the left and um, <coughs> we might change for instance the um, the haunch length and we take that from say 11 to 13 we can see how it increases over there but it has not increased on the right they are different lengths so how do we get them to behave as one? Alright. So it's easy on creation. Let's undo everything that we've done here. Let's go there. And then we create the same joint again. So there's our column. There's our, our beam. Now we see we have the option to name it. And we're going to call this a very specific name. I'm going to just say, um, use my initials and say it's a knee. So I give it that name. Now what's important for you is to maybe make a note of what that name is. Um, and we're going to accept that. Okay, so the next step is we have to use a different command. It's not in fact one of the connections but one of the tools and you can see it's over here on the tools um, menu and there it is there is the create a joint in a joint group over there you can see we can create uh, joints in a joint group multiple we can remove a joint from a joint group if we want to unslave it and there we've got we can add a joint to a group if we want to slave a joint to a group so there's some very nice tools that we can use over here and to create the new joint, we use the create joint in a joint group. Always read what it says to you on the command line. It asks you for the connection part. And this is the actual joint. So we click on the joint and we enter. And then it says to us, select the column. There's the column, enter, and there's the secondary B. And this now creates the second joint like that. Right. Um, and that's that. What happens now is if we change the advanced joint properties on the master joint and we change, say, the haunches to be, um, let's make that 13, it increases in size. Let's make it 2 feet to see the difference properly. You can see how both of them change at the same time. Let's have a look at the other side. What does this thing's advanced joint properties look like? There you can see it is not the master. If we upgraded it to the master, then it wants a new name. So the one thing that you have to kind of keep track of is where is the master joint? So maybe take a screenshot or create a view. Um, if you don't know how to do that, then um, it should be on the on the view tab over here, where you can then say um, on the view manager. Let's just create a new view, and it's called that view name PFS. Me. All right. Okay and okay. So if at any time we want to go back and edit that master joint, 
Then we're going to go to the uh, to the view manager. We can then see PFS knee. Set current. Apply and OK, and it will zoom us in onto our master definition from where we can then change the advanced joint properties. So this is a really, really powerful workflow. Um, it allows you then to fine um, tune that joint based on just one definition. Um, like I said, the only thing to keep track of is where is the master joint and then um, you can use that very easily um, in other uh, connections. And it's a nice quick simple and easy way for you to then manage creating the joints. It's the repetition of what we've done before. We go back to the um, master joint view, edit the advanced joint properties and then we can go to the haunches. Uh, where is the master now? Okay, so what we've seen happen here is that if you choose one of the slave joints to um, apply to one of the other columns, that it will remove the master definition. And that is also good to know. So this joint is no longer the master definition. Let's upgrade that to the master All right so just be careful when you select the um, the joints to apply to select the master and not the other um, slave joints. So the workflow would be as follows. First go to your master joint. Then choose the group command. Create a joint in a group command. Select that as the connection object. There we go. There we go, and then we change the master definition. And we can get back to our the joints at the same time that you can see they've all been updated all right so very importantly just remember to work with the master definition um, if you want to update or select a connection object to apply to other members till next time enjoy advanced steel